Starting with circle ABCD, let line BC be a diameter, and mark E to be the center of the circle. Let's also connect BA, AC, AD, and DC. Notice angle BAC. Its base is the diameter of the circle. We want to show that angle BAC is a right angle. Notice angle ABC. Its base is not a diameter, so it cuts the circle into a smaller segment and a larger segment. Angle ABC is in the bigger segment, and we want to show that angle ABC is less than a right angle. Notice angle ADC. Its base is the same as angle ABC's, but angle ADC is in the smaller segment. We want to show that angle ADC is greater than a right angle. We also want to show that the angle made by the circumference arc ABC and the straight line AC is greater than a right angle, and that the angle made by the circumference arc ADC and the straight line AC is less than a right angle. For the situation of the angle made by the circumference arc BC and the straight line BC, see Proposition 3.16. Let's finally prove things. Connect AE and extend BA to F. Focus on triangle ABE. BE is equal to AE because they are radii of the same circle. So the triangle is isosceles and angle ABE is equal to angle BAE. For the same reason, angle EAC is equal to angle ACE. Adding angle BAE and angle EAC together shows that angle BAC is equal to angle ABC plus angle ACB. Angle FAC, exterior to triangle ABC, is equal to angle ABC plus angle ACB, and is thus equal to angle BAC. BF is a straight line, so angle FAC and angle BAC are both right angles. Therefore, angles in semicircles or with a diameter as its base are equal to right angles. Since a triangle's angles add up to two right angles, this means automatically that angle ABC is less than a right angle. Angle ABC being the angle with a non-diameter base built in the larger segment. Let's now prove the third part. Notice that ABCD makes a quadrilateral in a circle. We've proved in Proposition 3.22 that opposite angles in quadrilaterals in circles are equal to two right angles. Since angle ABC is less than a right angle, angle ADC is greater than a right angle, which is the angle with a non-diameter base and built in the smaller segment. To prove the fourth point, note that the angle contained by the circumference ABC and the straight line AC is greater than angle BAC, which is a right angle. So the angle of a greater segment is greater than a right angle. To prove the last point, note that the angle contained by the circumference arc ADC and the straight line AC is less than angle FAC, which is right. So the angle of a lesser segment is less than a right angle.